Hello and welcome to my new video. Today in the late evening I will print photo from my trip to Copenhagen. And so far based on my latest prints I realized I actually don't need to make any type of huge color corrections for the print. It means if you have a stable development of the film and really good conditions for the shooting and good exposure you almost doesn't have any changes in color. And I think if you make a contact sheet with the standard settings of 60, 60, 0, you can pretty much guess the final settings for your prints. And with my modern setup, I actually have a startup to finish time of the printing less than an hour, and I'm really happy about it. And with my current setup, I can easily go in a dark room and just pull out my card from the corner of my room and go and make some enlargements and prints. And I think if you compare my latest prints to the early ones, you probably can see the huge improvement in quality of the prints. And this is one of the reasons why I actually invest money in the darkroom printing and especially with the color printing. For some reason it works with my brain, so if I develop the prints and if I make the final decisions about the color, about the composition, about the cropping, the rest of my photography also improve. My decisions about the exposure, my decisions about the framing in the camera, and also my decision actually about scanning the film. Nevertheless, I'm using negative flap pro to converting my negatives, but anyway, I realized if your negative is developed properly and you have a good composition and good exposure, you don't need to do anything with the negatives at all. And this is usually the biggest misconception about darkroom and the scanning itself. And for example, for this first test print, I already can see the picture a little bit red, so I'll make corrections and I actually land on exactly the same setting of 60, 60, 0. Which means my color corrections and the adaptation of color for the prints looks exactly the same for all the prints from the same negative. Because I'm more or less happy with the exposure on this test print, I will move on and print the bigger print with exactly the same settings. So it means if you have a consistency with your work and consistency with your exposure and film, you pretty much can go in the darkroom and in a half an hour print some work and expose it in the printed form. So let's quickly wash out the prints and this is my final print for today and let's discuss which corrections I make. So the first print which I calibrate looks completely red so it means I need to move the cyan channel and my second print also have a little bit of red but it's just because of the light leak. And I landed on the settings, which is 60, 60, 0. And finalized this really good, amazing print from the Copenhagen Bridge. And it's shot against the light. And in the same time, it has a incredible details in shadow and incredible details in color. So when you have a lot of experience and you have a setup process, it's quite nice and easy to produce a print. And the process is much enjoyable than the just make a scanning. That's it for today. And thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.